Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. We're back with more of God Eater 2 Rage Burst. We're going we finished the foundation lessons, um, just the beginner lessons in the first video. And now we're gonna move into more of the story and more um, actual missions. So I'm gonna press options to start. By the way, um, I mentioned in the previous video we are playing the PS4 version of the game, um, but it is available also on the Vita as well. So um, if you've got the Vita version, it should be basically the same as this. Let's jump straight in, we've loaded up our save file. Brilliant. Okay, so this is our character, we chose a female character and kitted her out with some stuff at the beginning. I think we have to go and talk to Raquel. Um, yep, she says um, there was a, a communication that Raquel Hakase wants to go and talk to you. So let's go and find her. I believe she's upstairs, um, but I might be wrong. I think I've been wrong about these things before. Let's go to the top floor. And in the top floor, uh, let's see, uh, this is Julius. Hey Julius, uh, he says, Raquel Sensei has come to see you. Okay, let's go and meet Raquel Sensei. Uh, I don't think, oh yeah, this is it. This is the Professor's Kenkyushitsu, which is her research area. Dr. R. Claudius's office. Oh, is this Raquel? Oh, Raquel is this person on the wheelchair that I um, didn't realize that was who she was. Oh, you've come, haven't you? Great. Um, now that you're here, I'm going to, um, say some things. Oh, Romeo! Uh... Oh, I think, uh, she's joking about Romeo. Oh, looks like you guys are already getting along well, I'm happy about that. Um, I want to explain some things about the blood to you today. As you know, Aragamis, which are these big monsters, are, um, running around the world and um, we have to stop them. That's why we have this program, God Eater. Uh, we got the Blood Eater program, which goes into the blood, which is our little team. Blah, 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 something about Julius and I and the power of the blood. Blood in the So um, something about being in the blood means that um, the power of the blood is still sleeping, and so we have to awaken it, which is Chino Mezame. Great, so let's go and do that. Something about Romeo, Nana, and uh, whoever my character is, Nihongo. Something about Julius as well. She's basically saying that she wants us to awaken our blood, our blood powers, basically. So let's make sure we go and do that. Great, so a bit of story. She's explained why we're here, why we've got our powers. I think that was just a very simple opening because we just need to meet her, that's all. Now let's talk to Julius and see if we need to talk to him um, before... Nope, uh, he says, Congratulations on finishing the foundation training, blood second level. Right, I think so we've probably got some um, more missions. There's a story mission here that we can do. Um, I think I can receive it from here. Um, I don't know how difficult this is. Presumably, we're supposed to do this mission now, so... Can't go wrong, right? <laughs> I hope. Uh, Alright, so make sure you uh, go and prepare yourselves. So let's go down to the lobby where I think we can actually launch for the mission. Um, I'm gonna stay with the weapon that I've got, I'm not gonna try and buy anything special. Let's go off and see, uh, see how we go. <laughs> Julius! Have you heard from the two new people? Okay, I'm not sure what that was about. We've arrived. I'm the leader, Julius. We're gonna start training in a real area. Those are the monsters that are threatening mankind or humankind. Are we actually gonna fight? Like a real fight? That's what, that's what this mission is, you idiot. <laughs> he didn't actually say idiot, I just added that in. 
Ah, uh, yes, this is the bit where Julius shows off how incredibly cool he is. Nice. By the way, this looks amazing on the big screen. Something about creating like the ultimate weapon. What I was going to say about the graphics is that um, compared to having a PS Vita version on the PS TV, um, I think this will have kind of double the resolution because it runs in 1080p or 7, 720. Right, so uh, it turns out these two are following me for some reason. I don't know why I'm the leader. Um, I'm going to hold down my L button. Yeah, by holding down the L button, I can lock onto the enemy, which is useful. Then I'm going to run in and smack and miss every single time. And it should be very easy because um, I've got three people with me and most missions go by pretty fast. Um, oh! I think she said she found some more aragami. I'm not sure 100% which ones are aragami. Maybe these are aragami as well. Perhaps they are. Alright! Check me out! Beating everyone at the same time. All right. So she's. Oh yeah, no. I think any, any monster is counts as an anagami. I think. So I'm not 100% sure what this does, but um, I always do this at the end when I've defeated a monster. I always um, use the triangle button to um, collect stuff from them. I think the idea is you're supposed to collect stuff from them while they're still alive. Um, that way you can actually um, take advantage of the blood power, oh, and I missed, which is embarrassing. Oh, this is probably not great. Run away! Okay, so now I'm level one. Presumably that... Oh, we finished the mission, so that was really, really easy. Um, once you're level one, I think you can do special things. It says if I press R1 and press triangle, um, I can do some special moves, I think. Also, once you have awakened your blood powers, you actually have more stuff that you can do. Oh! Oh, right, okay, so the mission is complete, but then the aragami is about to appear. I was like, how can an aragami appear if the mission's already finished? Um... Oh, we got the uh, Sentaku Shuriyasu, eh? So we got something as a reward. I'm not really sure what it is, but um, we I've chosen her. We just like received some special skill from Nana. Um, I'm not sure how that will play out, but we'll see soon enough. Right, and this is all the stuff that we received as well. Skills? Maybe this is the skill that I received? What is going on? All right, so we got something else as well. Looks pretty cool. Lots of skills. I think these are skills that I can choose and then fight with um, later on. Okay, so there's just explaining lots. There's a lot of stuff being explained, but we can check it out in the tutorials later for anything we didn't understand. Ah, yeah, so these are the monsters that were appearing right at the end of that last mission. Oh. So he said, um, kind of step back because I'm going to show you blood arts now. This is how it works. Overkill! Looks nice. I hope that we can learn how to do that as well. This is Blood Arts. Um, 
I think we have to learn how to do stuff like that, basically. Alright, so we've done our first real mission, this time with Julius. He just wanted to show us how to use blood arts, but of course we haven't actually had our awakening yet, so I think we can't actually take advantage of that yet. But you've seen what it's like to go into a real mission, fight some bad guys, and hopefully in the next mission uh, have a chance to do more of that. So I will see you in the next God Eater 2 uh, Rage Burst video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share links and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video.